people are very upset and they feel very passionately about this issue. They love the club and the city of Temple Terrace, but this is one issue they are not willing to let go of until something changes. Meanwhile, members of the Sons of Confederate Veterans, they say they want to be treated fairly. They say they didn't do anything wrong and want to be treated just like any other organization. Temple Terrace is my city. But that's not stopping residents from saying they're disappointed. I don't feel it has a place in a country club in which I pay dues to. Members of the Temple Terrace Golf and Country Club are not happy about a recent gathering they believe had no place at the club. Last year was, was more than enough. I drove up to the front of the club and there was a gentleman standing there in a Confederate uniform waving the stars and bars in front of my country club. No. Earlier this month, the Sons of Confederate Veterans returned for a banquet at the same venue. Our purpose is to honor the name of the Confederate ancestors. Weeks later, the event is continuing to create controversy. What the heck is going on? I don't know why people are upset with my organization. The four city council members. Goes against everything I love about Temple Terrace. Many residents and explain I their reasons saying they believe the organization represents divide instead of unity and equality. And I think it's important that everyone here know and understand that this is not a simple banquet. This is not freedom of speech. This is hate speech. Members of the Sons of Confederate Veterans disagree. As far as I heard, last saw, the uh, American Constitution guarantees freedom of assembly and freedom of speech. I question the people that want to stifle that. But we definitely need to come together as a community. Now, David McAllister, who you just heard from, he is the commander of the local chapter of the Sons of Confederate Veterans. He encourages the city to host a public debate. He says it's healthy and important for everybody to express their opinion and their side on this issue. Meanwhile, it is unclear whether the city will approve or deny the organization from ever hosting another event at the country club again.